This is Dabu 7. Very important video because it exposes from the horse's mouth the true beliefs of the Pope and how he views Jesus, Yeshua. The same Yeshua that said, do not worship a graven image. But I guess people want to take the Pope's word and what he does over Yeshua's. It's the same Pope Francis, Jesuit Pope Francis, that I've called out all kinds of times. And most recently, called him out on him making the comment that it's better to be a non-believer in God than a, a hypocritical Christian. We're all sinners. We all make mistakes. He even says that about himself. Well, with knowing that, it seems a bit hypocritical of him with the things that he's done. Now, look at all the pedophilic rings that have been covered up, even some prosecuted. This isn't fantasy. Real deal stuff that gets swept under the rug and you wonder why other people in other high power positions are doing the same thing and they're getting away with it when it all goes back to the synagogue? Yeshua warned you of a synagogue of Satan. Where the hell do you think that it resides? Who do you think is running it? This man not only said it's better to not believe in God, but he just made closing statements that to me seals the deal for anyone paying attention as he wears his fish head going back to the Dogon. And if you don't know what that is, you've got some research to do. The Dogon tribe, look it up. What he states is this. In an interview with the German paper that was just published, they did this interview back in February, he talks about things being popular, populism, and how things being popular uh, is evil. He's pretty popular. So let's say about him. Populism is evil. And it ends badly, is what he wants to go on talking about. But in these popular beliefs, he says that it requires a Messiah to succeed. This is why I want you to all pay attention. And people, you can grab for straws and try to cut this and, and twist it and make excuses. I know a couple will, but the rest majority that follow my channel at this point, you see what I'm saying, and you're going to see this clear. This man says that that requires a Messiah figure to succeed. Then he suggests that this is incompatible with Christian values. Now, I don't know what earth other people are living on, what plane... But to me, all of Christianity is centered around the Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Son of Mary. And it seems to Pope Francis that that Messiah is incompatible with Christianity. I think we have a problem. There's no other way to cut it. To sit there and in so many words to me, deny the Messiah. It's exactly what he's doing. He's saying that these popular beliefs, they require a Messiah within this populism belief that it needs a Messiah figure to succeed, suggesting it is incompatible with Christian values. There's no other way to cut it. And this is where it sits with me. I've told you time and time again. I have many other examples. We've talked about what's really going on. And for those just waking up, I know it's a struggle. You're not going to pick up on it as soon as you exit high school. It takes years of absorbing this. You're not going to pick it up in one day. Okay? They've lied to you so much, damaged you so badly, that it takes years to work your way out of that. Unless you start earlier and you have the eyes early and you can see it early and you can see the deception at a young age. The quicker you see this, the better off you are. It will help you in, in your life in getting to the truth of what is going on here on this planet. Now, I've stated before, if you're trying to figure out who these people are, it's pretty simple. They worship the fallen ones. I'm not just saying that. This is what is written. This is what is written in the same text that they carry around in their books, in their Bibles, in their beliefs. 
these individuals that landed on Mount Hermon, the fallen ones. They came unto the women of this planet. They bore giants. And for some of you out there, if you're missing it, it's right there in the writing. And I suggest you take some time to study some of the writings of all types of different stuff. Put all the cards on the table so you can see what it is. So you can see what they're thinking, what they're believing in. Therefore, not in the dark. Doesn't mean you have to worship it. Doesn't mean you have to believe in it. But you have to use discernment in everything. End of the day, I don't know what else to state. Besides, it seems to me, my own personal belief, that this man stating that a Messiah figure is incompatible with Christian values is rejecting the Messiah itself. You're saying that it's incompatible right there. Face value. I know what they're about. I know who they're really worshiping, what this is all about. All this is a fiasco. It's a front, a play on the minds of the people out here is what you need to see. They've hijacked the church from the root of it. If not built on the foundation, this is why Yeshua warned of the synagogue of Satan. Where else do you think it is residing? Right in front of you. And there's many different factions. Like I said, this is on Zionist Jesuit command that no one wants to talk about because they control 97% of your mainstream media, not all of Hollywood, your music industry. They're the ones cutting the checks to, to all these other cats out here. You wonder why some of these channels never talk about stuff like this? It's because they're controlled by them. They either worship or are a part of this religion behind the scenes, which they're being deceptive to you right there, or they're just blindly and naively listening to their masters because that's who's cutting them the check. And some of them are ignorant to the facts of what they're doing. It's why some of these other channels out there never speak on this. They don't have any knowledge on this whatsoever, or do they? Because the ones that do and that are not speaking on it, well, I could tell you right now, they're a part of it. And they're worshiping it. That's why they're not speaking on it. The others that aren't speaking on it just simply don't see the bigger picture. They haven't done enough research and got to the point to where they see this. But others, especially a lot of the people that follow me, I don't think I need to say anything more. The writing's on the wall. This man just said the Messiah is incompatible with Christian values. And for many, it should be the straw that breaks the camel's back. If the last post wasn't where he said it's better to be a non-believer in God than a, a hypocritical Christian, we're not perfect. He knows this. So those statements have had a lot of people up in arms and asking, who is this guy really? Well, I'm telling you, we live in strange times these days with this moment in time being a moment in time where we actually have two living popes uh, alive right now. And many say, you're looking at the anti right here. They come in many shapes and sizes, but I'm here to tell you this much. They serve their masters, and their masters are the fallen ones. And I'm going to promise you this. There will be a time where the wheat gets separated from the shaft. There will be a time of harvest. There will be a time when this all comes undone. It has been written. It has been warned about. It will happen. And in my belief, when Yeshua returns, it will be with a sword. Look at some of the other scripture on how Michael, Uriel, Gabriel are ordered to go down and do duty on this planet. And, there, and for those of you that believe in God and everything else, and you believe in the scripture, right there in the scripture, it's telling you when you read it of what they're going to come here and do and wipe this place out for the unjust and unholy. So, you know, some people got it twisted out there that think that they can sit there with a the flower in their ear and sit in front of the tank and it's going to stop and not kill them. It will run you over. It doesn't mean you have to have hate in your heart. You're right in carrying love in your heart because it is the key. It truly is. And it's what they lack. It is what these entities at the top lack. It's true love. It stops them from ascending. And that's why they are here, cast in this lower level, where they are manipulating things from behind the scenes. And they know this. These individuals are taught this in their religions since they were babies. Through their Masonic ranks and everything else. They were taught this. Just like all the rest of the people were taught whatever religion was bestowed upon you. From birth, many people grow up believing in that. It's what the parents believe. It's like that around the globe. Unless you're one of the rare people that break away 
out of that and venture off to, to seek something else, no matter what it is, uh, it's in my opinion, whatever you're seeking out there, if it's not about love, light, consciousness, ascending, and, and doing better things, it's not of the right path. I think there's truly one path here. It's in my own personal belief that if you were to, to make life, spirit energy from the most high himself, meaning that he resides in all of us, you see. That if you were to take that life force and say, okay, now we got to put it in a body and we fasten bodies and we put this life force inside of a body to animate it. We now have a creature or multiple creatures that can make decisions. We give them free will. They can now choose. This creation can now choose from right or wrong. So in the end, the only thing that matters is this. They can do whatever they want. They can say whatever they want, act however they want. They can lie to each other. They can do all this other stuff. Others can be good, but at the end of the day, when they all die, because they all will, we all do. We all drop these bodies. But will your energy and your spirit force live on? It's the key. And what we do is we just throw it on the scales. And if you were one that wanted to play a part of this game of deception and all this stuff down here, you're going to go down. And those that had passed the test, even by just the slightest percentage, that were on the side of good, you will advance. Why wouldn't you? If you created life, think about it. And you wanted to take the best of the whole shebang, and you were giving them free will, and you could see all. And they were choosing on their own. The best way to do it is just throw them on the scale. Throw the energy on the scale in the end. You cut your own path. But yet, they don't want you to know the path. So they construe it. All throughout the globe. These warnings were written about. And I can't stress it enough, folks. I know some people out there are not too religious. Some are very. I wish that that those people could come to the same table and see eye to eye on some things and not hate each other or be distant and talk about things. Look, the group of guys I surround myself with and gals, we don't always see eye to eye on stuff, but that is what makes it unique. It's what helps us grow. People bring new things to the table and healthy argument is good. You don't have to hate each other. Backstabbing's different. But bringing all the opinions to the table lets everyone be able to see this. You're able to talk about things and hash things out and work together instead of against each other. And to me, it's all about walking righteous and doing the best that you can here on this planet. It seems to me that many of these people in their position are using their positions to lead people astray. And that was warned about, folks. This is a man that told everybody in Europe to take these militants into their homes the same militants that George Soros put a half a billion dollars on. Do you now see that they are in this together? He's never once called for Soros' head, saying that he's evil or any of these minions. <laughs> Maybe now you know why. So, let it be known, when I say this is Columinati, I mean to do away with this deception. And to do away with all this evil, to do away with this seed line that has caused disaster on this planet. And I can't wait till the true day comes to where it happens. I hope I live to see it. And I don't mind dying and exiting this life. I don't think anyone does mind dying once they figure out in the heart that they're right. That you're right with God, with the Spirit, and you're walking righteous. All you can do is walk righteous every day. And when the day comes that we drop, you drop. I don't want to be someone on the other side that wishes I did more. Don't be that soul. We don't want to be there. I almost feel like we've been there before. This time back around and then, we're here for a reason. For the truth. To expose this deception and to fight it every step of the way. And a lot of the times, that fight is doing this right here. And you can participate too in getting the truth out there. Do your own videos. Put it in your own form and fashion. 
just don't forget to give props to the real cats out there along the way. So I don't know what else to say when your Jesuit Pope Francis says that this Messiah is incompatible with Christian values. It says enough for me. This is why we say Columinati. Exposing this every step of the way until the end. I will continue to update with more. This has been D7. Peace.